So you've decided to buy yourself a Wysol Stingray sprayer. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to disassemble the gun. I think this is really important because you need to know all the parts that go into the gun because you're gonna to need to know how to clean all those parts, which will be another video coming very soon. So if you're looking forward to seeing how exactly to disassemble your Wysol Stingray sprayer gun, stay tuned today. All right, so here we go. We have our metal Stingray sprayer from Apollo. So it's gonna be all Apollo parts from the gun to the cup to everything. And we're gonna be able to walk through all those different parts and how we go ahead and disassemble it today. So first and foremost, you're just gonna take that cup right off of there. Too easy, you just kinda of flip the little metal switch, turn, pop it off, too easy. Got a nice little Stingray sprayer logo on the front and you set that aside. And then as you can see, it's all one big connected piece. We're gonna take each part apart one by one. So first we're gonna loosen that nut that connects the uh, cup assembly to the gun. So just unscrew that just ever so slightly. And that was a three fourths wrench. You could use a regular adjustable wrench, however you wanna do it. So we take that off. And next thing we're gonna go ahead and remove the tube from the tube fitting on that uh, cup assembly. We're gonna set that aside. And then we're gonna remove the other end. Now, sometimes these can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. And from what I understand, you only have to put it down two of the barbs on those two fittings. So it's up to you. Uh, for me on this one, this is the first time I had taken it off. So I needed to use some pliers to pop it off. But depends, could be easier or harder depending on you know how far down you go on that two fitting. Next up, you're gonna remove the air feed connector, which is on the gun. And don't make fun of me, but I didn't have a smaller adjustable wrench handy. So I got this giant thing that I had laying around. Um, obviously you use something smaller. I don't know the exact measurements of that one because I didn't have a wrench that was that size. So I grabbed this big old thing, just ever so gently unscrew that enough where you can kind of do it with your fingers. And then you're gonna unscrew that off really easy and just get that part off and set aside okay next we're going to remove the adjustment knob or adjustment screw and spring and we're going to disassemble the gun what's left of it from the back forward so we take that screw off first and as you'll see the spring wants to pop out we're going to take that spring out and then you're going to want to pull the trigger and that'll allow the needle to come back a little bit. And then you're going to go ahead and remove the needle. Just pull it out gently, slowly. You don't want to bend this. So you want to be careful and just be mindful of that needle as you're pulling it out. Next, we're going to move the, the gland nut using the gun wrench. So this gun wrench comes with your actual purchase of the Stingray sprayer and you're gonna use the flat end to get the gland nut out. Both sides do different parts and we'll get to the other part that that's for. So you just, this one's not uh, something you're gonna tighten really, really tight. So it should just be a gentle little tug. And then with your fingers, just go ahead and screw that off. And as you can see, I'm just kind of laying stuff out part by part as I go to make it easier to go in reverse order. Next up is to remove the air cap and air cap ring. So the air cap is just exactly that, that front part where the air is going to be coming out of along with the product. And then the air cap ring is what screws around that to hold all of those parts into place. So you're going to have multiple parts within this area and it's just going to kind of go in that order. So the air cap and the air cap ring are going to be the first things to come off. And then you're going to remove the air distribution plate and then the spring. And then when we put this thing back together, I'll explain how it needs to go back on because it needs to go back on in a very specific way. Next, you're going to remove the nozzle with the angled end of the gun wrench. Again, that's provided when you purchase the uh, Stingray sprayer. Just a gentle, again, another gentle little turn and then screw off with your fingers and you're gonna be good to go to just pop this little thing off. Just like that. Now, there's gonna be a little fiber washer 
that comes off of there. And that's kind of important too, because that's definitely something you're going to want to clean. You see a little white on that. I got to clean mine off a little bit better. But you're going to just separate it all out and then that'll be it. Just that easy. Well, there you have it. Disassembling your Wise Owl Stingray Sprayer gun. Hopefully this video was helpful for you and just gave you some familiarization of what the parts are and you know makes it a little bit easier when it comes time to clean, which will be another video I have coming very soon. So if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to hit the subscribe, the like, comment down below if you have any questions about our sprayer. And as always, happy painting.